Hi, today I'm going to be using my lash glue as a brow gel. Yes, you've heard me right, a brow gel. So in my lifetime I've used about five or six brow gels maybe and they've all been really shit. But that's probably because my eyebrows are really shit, to be honest. My eyebrows are very sparse and there's not much of it. So I draw in most of it and the little hair that I do have they need to be put into their place, okay? That's why I thought I'd buy a brow gel and normally it doesn't work because it's just not strong enough. So one day as you do, you just go through Instagram and stuff and I remember back in the day, like last year or something, there was like this hype going about like the soap brow where you like literally get a bar of soap and then a spoolie and then go through your brows. I tried that, it was good but it only lasted for like 20 minutes so I just thought it is useless and then I saw like drag makeup where they use a glue stick and I have used a glue stick on my brows before if you watch my what was it uh, a Zico makeup inspired makeup yeah I used that to like cover up my brows and I put concealer over it and then I thought that was better than the soap because it's glue <gasps> what if I use lash glue and oh my god, it lasted the whole day. I probably wore it for about like 10, 12 hours and it stayed exactly the same throughout the whole day. Not a single hair was out of place because it was glued together with strong glue. And it didn't move until I literally took my makeup off with like a makeup remover. So I thought, I'm a genius really. I'm, just, I'm a genius. So since then I've been using lash glue as brow gel. And you're probably thinking, since it's lash glue, it's just sticky once you put it on. Yeah, a little bit, but I've never had anything stick to it. When it dries, it dries clear, or if you get the clear drying one. It dries clear, and then once it dries, it's not really that sticky. It's a little bit, it's still a bit like tacky, but trust me, nothing's gonna get stuck in it. I don't have much hair to be stuck on too. That's probably the reason why, but nothing gets stuck in it. Which leads me to this day showing you how I use the lash glue as my brow gel. Alongside with that, I just thought I'd throw in my brow routine as well. My brow routine isn't very complicated. It's just literally just one or two products that I use to actually shape my brows. And then I use my lash glue to blow it down. <laughs> anyway, if you're interested, then please keep me watching. This is the type of brow that I want to be, where in reality, this is the type of brow that I actually am. So I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline, I believe it's called Total Temptation or something? Oh, there we go, yep, Total Temptation. I'm using the shade Medium Brown because it completely matches my overgrown dark roots. Now I like to use my pupil as a reference point to where the arch of my eyebrows should be only because this is what I learned from watching girls on the internet. Another thing that I really like about this particular shade is that it's very cool toned and it goes with any hair colour and skin tone so no matter how much I damage my hair, how much I dye my hair, what colour I dye my hair or how tanned I am or pale I am, it will always match. Once I've filled in my brows into the shape that I want, I'm going to proceed and pluck out the stray hairs using a pair of tweezers. Once you've realised you plucked way too much, just sit back, take a second, and just think back on all the bad decisions you've made so far in your life, and then continue to pluck some more. To give the brows a more neater look, I'm going to go in with the Allure Brow Luminizer with the concealer side and go around the edges just so it cleans it up and just makes it look neater really. I suggest that you blend it out with a fluffy brush but obviously if you don't want to then you don't have to, you ain't my child but I like the more blended look so I'm just going to blend it out you know. Now comes the main point of this whole entire video, using the lash glue as a brow gel. As you can see, the lash glue that I'm using, the brush is not even a brush, it's pretty much just a stick really, but I kind of prefer it like that because if it was a brush, it would be a lot more difficult to maneuver, but since it's a stick, I think just like slap it on, you know? And with that being said, there you have it ladies and gentlemen, these are my brows done. Do you like them? Cause that do. Ow. Just look at it. Look at it. Look at it! 
can't stop looking at it, can you? Neither can I. I keep looking back at the mirror just to look at my brows. I love my brows now. Hi brows, I love you. Just to finish up the whole brows, I'm just going to use a shimmery side on the Illua Brow Luminizer. You know, just to highlight it and blend a few folks here and there. So that's it for my brow routine. I hope you like watching this video and it wasn't too boring for you. And I hope you try this glash glue trick. It actually really works. But if it doesn't for you, let me know or let people down there. If you are going to try it, how did it go? Let me know! But anyway, after that demonstration, I don't really have much else to say apart from... Don't forget to subscribe! <laughs> If you like my videos, click the like button and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.